<laughs> Let's go, George Papa. Where were you born? I was born in Chicago. Who would you want to play you in a movie? <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of that, but let's say uh, George Clooney. Oh, <laughs> George. <laughs> what was your first job? Uh, my first job was actually uh, working at uh, the Hudson Institute after I graduated uh, school. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear are spiders. Who makes you laugh the most? Uh, Kevin Hart. <laughs> What is the one thing you need to have in your fridge all the time? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> all the time? I have no uh, idea. Eggs and milk. And say hot sauce. <laughs> oh, and, and hot sauce. <laughs> like my hot sauce. What is your greatest accomplishment? Uh, marrying Simona. Oh, That's definitely my, so my biggest accomplishment in my life. Love you. Who is the most interesting... Yeah, it's a critical question. Who is the most interesting person you met recently? <laughs> <laughs> We've met a lot of interesting Better you pick a male name. people recently. <laughs> um, uh, I would probably say uh, Sh Sean Hannity. He's, uh, he's been uh, really great um, to us. Uh, he's been great to us individually, and uh, he's really been a great supporter uh, for our personal cause and for the truth in general. So I'd probably say Sean Hannity right now. I really love him, and thanks for his support. Uh, what is your middle name? My middle name is Dimitri. What is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve? Um, I don't even know what it means. Pet peeve is something that annoys you. <laughs> okay. Uh, English, learning English. Uh, I don't know, the bed not being made in the morning or something. I'm not really crazy like <laughs> Nothing really bothers me too much. What is the last book you read? The Secret. What is your favorite hobby? Uh, I like to play uh, basketball. What is your guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure is uh, nice uh, wine, chocolate, and some good Italian food. Heavy Italian food, that's what I really like. Lasagna, lasagna, lasagna. a lot of lasagna. Good. Do you have any hidden talents? Um, <laughs> exposing the deep state. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I can't, I can't sing and I can't dance, but I can't. I can expose a, a global conspiracy. That's a, that's a talent. What color is your toothbrush? Blue. What is your secret snack? Secret snack. Kind bars. <laughs> I love kind bars. That's the million dollar question. How do you take your coffee? Black, <laughs> with no sugar, no cream. Oh, what is the last movie you saw in theaters? A Star is Born, I which it. I saw three times. I really liked that movie. And very uh, happy with that. <laughs> what is the last gift you gave? <laughs> the last gift I gave was a beautiful uh, purse that you're wearing today. Here. There you go. This is the last gift you gave. <laughs> <laughs> what, you, uh, what cause is dear to your heart? Huh? Sir? What cause is dear to your heart? You know one good thing that's come out of this, uh, I guess the whole legal situation was that I actually was connected to um, the, a homeless shelter that I've been volunteering at uh, in Los Angeles, um, the Union Rescue Mission. Um, and I really have to say that I think they're doing great work there. Um, we've gone together and uh, we volunteer there. Uh, we feed the homeless. Um, we prepare their food. We, we don't only take selfie days. We also do productive things. And, and I just think that they're just Look, and for me, it's been it's been a really like emotional experience, like really dealing with people who are down on their luck, because I was definitely down on my luck, um, and just trying to give them some sort of hope and inspiration and motivation um, that the light is always brighter on the other side, and just stay focused and be positive, and um, you could get through anything. Because I certainly did. Uh, I was basically bankrupt. I lost my profession. Uh, I was uh, basically hidden from the world for the last two years. I went to prison. I had my passport taken from me. I haven't even had the chance to meet my wife's family yet no. in Italy. Um, so I've gone through my trials and everybody goes through their trials. And um, so just seeing those people there, I, I don't want to say I relate to them exactly because they're going through a lot of really hard times themselves, but um, just trying to be an inspiring person. So that, that was really a cause of it. Totally yep. true, it was beautiful. Yeah. So, question 21. What is number one on your bucket list? 
on my bucket list actually is traveling to Italy, which I love, and to meet her family. I really want to uh, do kill two birds with one stone. Go to my Hi, favorite, mama. go to my favorite country abroad, Italy, and actually get to meet her family, which I haven't my had a chance can't to. Wait to meet you. Which uh, this entire investigation has prevented me from traveling outside of the country for over two years now. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Where do you want to go that you've never been? Uh, I want to go to Japan. Me too. I really want to go to Japan. That's I don't know why. I, we live in LA now, it's closer. Um, so We dream of Japan. <laughs> we dream of Japan. And <laughs>